very much, uh, Las Cahirlach. First of all, can I thank all of the members who have contributed uh, to this debate uh, tonight, but also contributed not just at our own uh, joint committee, but also, um, as was uh, pointed out earlier, the uh, members of the previous uh, joint uh, committee who actually held the hearings in relation to it. They had done the heavy work in terms of the hearings. Uh, and thanks to, to Deputy Collins, she was able to bring uh, together that, working with uh, Mr Jack Savage, uh, and uh, produce the recommendations and the report that we're discussing here today. But I want to acknowledge uh, the work done by the Cahirlach, uh, Fiona O'Loughlin, uh, and the members of uh, the last committee, uh, and we took over that work. Um, I welcome the fact that the, the Minister, uh, Minister English said earlier on that the um, department is, and both departments are looking at the 13 recommendations uh, set out in the report. Six of them have been completed, uh, four are, are now underway. Uh, but I think the legislative proposals that we have proposed uh, are vitally important, Minister, and I think that uh, needs to be addressed. Now, you know, we are seeing a, a changing shift in terms of work patterns. Uh, in this country. We're going to be bringing forward legislation in terms of, of remote working, and surely that could be used as a vehicle to help uh, expedite uh, some uh, of uh, this legislation. And I think, yes, look, it is not about creating a bureaucratic system for people who are self-employed and genuinely self-employed. And, and as Minister English pointed out, 340,000 people are self-employed in this country. But, you know, uh, as Deputy Boyd Barrett uh, highlighted earlier on, you know, you have big employers who have, are, are receiving substantial funds from the state and yet have absolutely no employees uh, whatsoever. Uh, so, you know, it is about getting that balance right. It is about addressing emerging areas uh, like uh, platform working. Now, I know that on foot of our report, not only did we refer it to the Department of Social Protection and to the Department of, of Enterprise, Trade and Employment, we also passed on a copy uh, to the Public Accounts Committee. Now, the Public Accounts Committee are, are following through uh, on that within their, their own remit, and uh, we're looking forward to the completion of the Public Accounts Committee uh, hearings, the report and the publication of that. Uh, and uh, once Deputy Stanley has published that, uh, our committee will then uh, consider what elements uh, we need to progress uh, from that particular point uh, in time. So, look, I want to thank everyone that contributed this evening, uh, thank uh, those uh, that facilitated uh, this debate uh, tonight, and it is an issue that the committee will be revisiting uh, in the future.